you are looking to buy recreational marijuana, be prepared to wait. Even though sales started last Friday, lines are still way out the door, taking hours for some customers to get inside. News 4 Tucson's Mark Mangura asked some customers if it's really worth the wait. Consistent rain and near freezing temperatures has done nothing to dissuade hundreds of Tucsonans from braving the elements to wait in line to buy recreational marijuana. Gloomy skies and cold temperatures don't matter to these people waiting outside of Harvest House of Cannabis in Tucson. Despite wait times between two and three hours just to get inside, customers say that. I think it is worth the wait. I think that recreational marijuana has been waiting a long time to come to Arizona, so everyone here in line is waiting for a good reason. Harvest CEO Steve White says they expected this surge and they remain well prepared for the demand as they have been stocking up for quite a while. As for the long lines. Part of it, it speaks to the, the how long overdue uh, that this was uh, in Arizona. So people are uh, enthusiastic. Um, we are you know, grateful for their patience. Uh, we're doing the best we can. As more dispensaries start selling, he does expect demand to level out. Customers we spoke with say $200 a month is the average amount they expect to spend on marijuana going forward. That, combined with a 16% sales tax, would give a big boost to those groups that will be on the receiving end of these profits, including first responders and education initiatives. I think this is a great way to get tax dollars and to curb on some illegal drug trading that's causing gun violence and a whole bunch of other stuff. So look at all these potential tax dollars, you know? So I, th I think it's a great deal overall. Harvest says that Tucson is an underappreciated market and they didn't roll out adding more dispensaries in Tucson moving forward. We've got you covered in Midtown. I'm Mark Mangura, News 4 Tucson.